Good morning, everybody. Welcome back from Summon of Scout Selections here for Friday, April 8th. Before we get into today's play of the day, quick recap of weapon yesterday. We had a nice winner in the NBA with the Spurs team total over 115.5 and minus 105 on Fox Bet. It was a little bit dicey, but the Spurs went off in the fourth quarter and eventually finished with 121. So we ended up having a nice winner. Bit of a winning streak. We'll look to keep it rolling here on Friday. However, didn't really like anything in the NBA. I thought about making a play, but with the injury reports constantly being up in the air, and with motivation being a question for about half the teams in the league, if not more at this point, I decided to switch gears. And we're going to talk about baseball. I know opening day was yesterday, and there is one play that I do like in a match between the Yankees and the Red Sox taking place at around 1 p.m. Eastern time. And for the play, they are going to take a player prop on the Yankees. It's going to be Yankees outfielder Joey Gallo, and we're going to take him under half a hit at plus 115 on DraftKings. Time recording of 3.30 a.m. Eastern time. Couple reasons why. I like Gallo to not record a hit on Friday. First of all, it's a pure value play. So there's going to be a lot of math, a lot of numbers. So bear with me there. But there's definitely a lot of value here, and I'm going to grab it every time. So starting off with the simple stuff, let's go with batting average. With the Yankees last season, we know that Gallo in his career was basically a 200 hitter. He has one of the lowest batting averages in the league for everyday players year in, year out, because he's mostly a strikeout or home run guy. It's what he does. He's Adam Dunn 2.0. By going with the Yankees last year, he was even worse because he had a batting average of 160 in 58 games with the Yankees. On top of that, he was also insanely bad against Boston, as Boston seemed to figure him out quite regularly, and Gallo had little to no success whatsoever. In 39 plate appearances against the Red Sox last season, Gallo had four hits, which means he failed to record a hit in roughly – 90% of his plate appearances against Boston. On top of that, he has faced Yavaldi eight times in his career, so eight plate appearances. Yavaldi's the projected opening day starter for Boston, and Gallo has one hit, which means he has failed to record a hit against Yavaldi about 87.5% of the time in each at bat. On top of that, Gallo at Yankee Stadium last year was also terrible. He had 18 hits and 112 plate appearances at Yankee Stadium, which is equivalent to a hit rate of about 16%. So to go through the math once again, you have a career 200 hitter, which basically means he gets one hit in every five credited at-bats, not including walks, of course. But the Red Sox got him out basically 90% of the time per at-bat. Gallo has failed to get a hit in about uh, 88% of the at-bats against Uvalde in his career, and the numbers against the bullpen for Boston, by the way, even worse, just ridiculously bad. And at Yankee Stadium, Gallo failed to get a hit in about 84% of plate appearances. Yeah, plus 115 for no hits for a guy who really never gets on base via hit is definitely a great value play. Of course, Gallo can go yard at any time, and that's definitely going to be the concern. And he could potentially bunt for a hit down the left side against the shift, which would be a real pain in the ass way to lose this bet. But based on just math, plus 115 makes absolutely no sense here because Boston and Uvalde, I've mentioned it several times already, They pitch really well against him. Gallo, we know, is really, really stubborn. And based on his uppercut swing and the fact that he really goes for home run or nothing, there's a very good chance that he will be unable to get a hit in this game. And not to mention the fact that there is a chance that maybe the Yankees could pinch hit him later in the game if the Red Sox bring in a lefty. Because Gallo's numbers, really against everybody, are awful. But against against lefties especially, are atrocious. So there is a chance that maybe Gallo would get pulled later in the game. We'll see about that. But plus 115 for a guy who has one of the lowest batting averages in the league every year is a bargain, and I'm going to take it. So the play that I once again here for Friday, April 8th, is going to be on Joey Gallo under half a hit at plus 115 on DraftKings. Bye, everyone.